Hello guys and welcome back. This is Play and today I'm going to show you a design of item shooter. And um, this idea, the item shooter, has been presented by Etho, um, YouTube channel Etho's Lab, this one. And of course you are going to check that out because he's quite awesome and quite famous as well. Um, so this item shooter was introduced by Etho and he made a quite complex design of the item shooter and I think I can just make a tutorial on how to make this item elevator, I mean item shooter as he, as in 1.9 the item elevator with the, um, with the fences glitch has been fixed so we now need another kind of item shooter or item elevator so before I introduce this design to you I will first talk about how items function or the item mechanics so let's get started um, so for older minecrafters that have touched the game for longer time of course they know that um, an item that is thrown into a hole which has four adjacent size beam blocks. Um, once the air block is filled, uh, the item will pop up directly um, vertical, I mean, in the same y, uh, x axis or z axis. So this happens with a um, uh, deeper hole as well, which I'll demonstrate here. So, um, this can be counted as a hole once I fill this up. As there is an air block here, so this is a hole, and one this once this block is um, the air block that holds the item is filled, um, the block will be shoot up like this. So this is how um, the item shooting mechanic works, and. Um, I'll now start introducing how this item shooter works. So concerning with shooting items, the first thing we need to know is we need to have um, a tunnel for the item to be shoot up and we have to prevent the item from shooting sideways so we need to put blocks um, at all the sides so now we have a uh, air block here but the problem is we need to insert the items into it so one thing to one way to do it is by droppers of course you wouldn't put dispensers in um, because they do not shoot all items so you can put droppers in and you can use hopper which counts as a block so it also stops the item from flowing into um, fl flowing out sideways. I mean, a second. So um, you can just input items this way. So um, and then you can shoot them up. So the problem is now um, if you have three items, you need to shoot them all and you need to do it one by one which is extremely slow like this and then one more so you need to do it three times if you have three items so if you have um, for example a stack of items you need to do it 64 times which is extremely inefficient so the way to do it is actually to detect um, whether the the block I mean the dropper has items in it and then you need to activate the droppers by the by the times the dropper has how many items in it. So let me just demonstrate it it is not clear enough. So firstly um, you can detect the dropper's content by 
putting a redstone comparator and then as the redstone signal can be very short which is very weak you should put a redstone repeater and then you should put a clock that activates the the dropper by the times it has how many items in it for this it now has one item and then we should activate this by once actually we can just do it by a clock which is I can just demonstrate to you how easy that is you can just put um, a resting torch and then another resting torch and then make the resting torch signal go into itself which is extremely easy just like this and then um, a stone here so um, whenever there has items in this dropper um, this clock will run and if there's no item in this dropper this clock will not run so it's quite simple you just put, put items in it and then I can activate this clock and then you can take the signal from this um, this clock into the dropper so um, the first thing is that we can now have this done if we have um, 64 items and then you can shoot all of them using that clock into the airspace so suppose that we now have already shoot in um, 64 blocks I mean 64 items now you can just press this and then all 64 items will be shoot up so um, this is more efficient but we now have another problem to solve because we don't know um, if the dropper has gone empty so if it has gone empty we should activate this piston and then make all the items go up and shoot where it should go so um, before I solve the problem that we need to notify this piston to go off to shoot all the items after the items have been shot into the air block before I fix that problem I just changed the um, clock into a faster one which I will introduce how I worked out this firstly we need a monostable circuit a monostable circuit can be created just by this so um, this is a monostable circuit creator and this is the output here so um, with mo this monostable circuit um, we can have um, the output running here so um, as the fastest stable clock here now in Minecraft is still the one that has been um, decades ago which is this one this is the shortest one pick pulse um, clock which is extremely easy to make and um, I can just mix this monostable circuit go into the um, the clock that we want to create so now when we push this I mean when we have a um, constant signal into um, this thing this clock will run and if I remove this um, torch and this clock will not run so it's extremely simple to create this uh, the clock that demands um, the signal the constant signal from here so um, this is the the clock that I built over in my design here so now I implemented this clock and then this will shoot the items more quickly and now we need to solve the another problem which is um, we need to activate this after the items are all shot out so one way to do it is by um, detecting the hopper so let me just first tell you why this is not working 
I'll just demonstrate you by throwing stone in here. So you can see um, the clock is not working just by telling the chrome. Yeah. So 60, I mean 16 items have been shot uh, into the air block, but the clock is still running, which is bad because this is very annoying. So we can now fix this first. The way to fix this is to first we need to realize where the problem comes from. So um, I now will explain the problem to you. So um, when we put items into the hopper, um, the, the items in the hopper go into the dropper one by one and then as um, the hopper goes into, I mean the speed of items going into the dropper is actually very slow. So um, it would just make um, before the, the uh, item is detected, the item already has been shot up. So the detecting um, signal goes into here and runs the clock, but it, um, there's already no, item, no more items in it. And then uh, there goes one more item inside it. So it creates a uh, one tick pose um, to this um, this piston. So the one tick pose makes this piston just extend but not retract. I mean just extend but do not take back the block it uh, extended. So the block stayed here and then the one tick pose uh, stayed in the clock and then that makes a lot of annoyance. So the way to fix this is actually just to make a non one tick pose into this, this piston after everything is finished. So um, here I actually need to just check what I did there a second. So um, the thing I did was to detect the, um, the redstone signal coming out from the hopper instead instead of the dropper I detected from the hopper so when this hopper goes empty um, the clock start running I mean the, the clock stops running if both goes empty and then this will extend so um, I have um, just another way of um, transporting resistance resistance signal downwards just to use piston and then I have the um, redstone going off to this way and then I activate I mean I deactivate the rest uh, this piston as now there's no items in it but um, when I have items a second when I have items inside the um, the chamber. I'll just call the chamber. If we have items inside the chamber, this um, this will be an air block, um, which uh, if the chamber isn't empty, I mean there's no items in it. This will just extend and um, just um, fill the air block before um, any item just go into it. So so here I use the redstone repeater and then um, this makes the items pop up and yeah so this makes the item pop up and actually we don't need this layer I just uh, try to demonstrate it more easily just a second um, let me just remove these okay so um, this is the way to activate this piston, I mean to deactivate this piston um, before there is item and to activate this piston um, after there is no item. I mean uh, when there is item and everything has sh been shot out from the dropper. So um, moving on to the next step. So the another problem is that um, if we directly input blocks here it will just shoot up um, before this piston retracts so um, we need to solve the problem by putting um, a repeater with a few ticks I think it would be a two tick let me just check 
Okay, so it is a two tick delay thing here, and um, let me just collect more items. So um, it would be a two tick delay um, at this place, and then it goes into the um, block, and then that powers this redstone that makes this um, piston go off. So I'll just show you by this. Now 16 items are thrown and um, which just happened badly. Um, there's another problem but it can be fixed in practical um, which the items popped up can be shot into this um, hopper directly which is um, very rare but this just happened anyways. So um, there's 16 items in this chamber right now and then after they are all shot out, they will be um, shot into the air. So this is the basic um, working thing for for the um, item shooter. So we now solved a uh, uh, very a number of problems. Like um, we need to have the timing issue correct, which I investigated by using a few text delay on everything, and. Uh, this is the item shooter basically so um, in Ethos concept video he actually made um, a few number of rows I mean a few number of layers of this tunnel so that the items can shoot higher So this is definitely much higher and I actually investigated on how high um, the items will shoot with how many layers of um, the um, tunnel. So with zero layer of tunnel, um, this is just an idea of maximum height of these items, you can't do it every time. Um, so for no layer it will just be shot into this level and then for um, one layer it will be shot into um, this level I mean um, maximum this level most of the time yeah this time it failed so um, just most of the time I mean just the maximum height is this to reach this level so it's just an investigation thing this time it failed again um, so just a demonstration but if you do not use a block here but instead you use a slime block here it will actually shoot much further for example here just by no blocks above this contraption well I just picked up everything Okay, so um, with no blocks above the contraction, it will already shoot up to around this level. Yes, so um, with one block, it will shoot up to around this level. Just let let it go here. Yeah, so. Um, with two blocks using the slime block it can actually shoot up around to this block this level yes yeah, so um, this is just um, some investigation using the um, the shooting mechanics so um, so now as I've actually walked through um, how everything works um, this is actually already a tutorial of how things can be um, just how, how the contraption can be made step by step um, with all the mechanics ideas all explained so now if you do not want to know the actual actual thing about how it works I'll just make um, make it just simply um, doing it without explanation so 
here I will just do the tutorial without explanations so without explanations I will just tell you how to do it now you place down a piston and then a block which can be a slime block but you need to surround um, them with an obsidian but actually here I will use a slime block slime block there is slime block may not be here so let me just find slime block here okay so um, we can have a slime block here and then we have um, obsidian or furnaces or any tile entities or some other things that cannot be pushed by a slime block um, surrounding the hole and then we actually that's quite simple we just put dropper facing downwards at this level so um, just stupid okay so um the way to just enclose the chamber is to do it like this and then um as we need to output a signal with a comparator we just do it here and then we put a resonant comparator and then a block and a redstone and a sticky piston and a block so this creates the most stable circuit and then the output is the resonant repeater and the repeater goes into... It stops raining again, come on! I, I already turned off the, the um, rain for four times, come on! Um, so we now make the clock like this um, by putting redstone here and there and uh, another just a uh, repeater facing block and a repeater, repeater facing block that is going to be pushed by this piston so this thing then go into a redstone repeater and then some redstone here redstone here and then redstone repeater here so we need to have the input of the dropper so we need to put a hopper here which is the only hopper we're going to use in here and then we need to detect the signal going off from the uh, hopper and then output it to a sticky piston that travels I mean transport the uh, redstone signal downwards and then go a few blocks and then uh, a redstone repeater facing a block that that has redstone on it and then the redstone triggers the block which has the redstone torch on it here and then this um, this redstone will power the redstone repeater and this redstone repeater will go on to this block and then um, this will be the redstone repeater will travel, I mean, transport the redstone signal into here and then power this piston. So, the next thing is we put a redstone repeater with two ticks here and then close off this thing. So, did I miss anything? I possibly have missed anything. So, anyways, I just test it by putting blocks or items into it. So, I think that's all for how to do it yes it's actually quite simple um, and although it's not as compact but um, it's actually still quite feasible for uh, hard work and, uh, so here uh, I would like to just tell you guys to check out Ethos video because um, his design is actually quite awesome as well and um, of course check out my other videos about um, the EVOS elevator uh, the, dis the new design of EVOS elevator and also some other resident contraptions or custom maps so I think that's all for this video talking about the rest of um, the item shooter and yeah, so I think I will see you guys next time and bye bye.